Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Equin 2, The War and Peace, a traditional roguelike. That's right, a traditional roguelike. We got that turn base, permadeath, dungeon crawling, action. It is a new game. It is in 1500 by 1000 resolution. The black bars are there, and uh, that is true. <laughs> but hey, you know, it just adds to the vibe, doesn't it? Just adds to the vibe. Okay, flickering images. Alrighty, good stuff. Uh, the War and Peace, the longest, most boring book of all time, it is said that an evil wizard wrote this book, which spans some 6,000 pages, and mailed it into town. All curious, all who came to read it were promptly bored to death. As the mysterious stranger out on business, only you can return the darned thing back to the wizard's tower and destroy it forever. Oh my god. Okay, we got ourselves a warrior fighter who ex excels with weapons and armor. Weak versus magic and spells. Okay. Thief is... <laughs> Poison and crime. Steal from shops. Weirdos. The wizard is a weirdo that can command spells and convert unwanted items into experience. And then we've got ourselves a cleric. Rids the world of undead horrors. Uh, you know what? Let's start with the <laughs> warrior. I am noticing these are all, like, bizarre rabbits. Let's go. Provisions. Choose what you want to take along with you. You have three picks left. I mean... I don't know. Let's get a sword. Let's get a... Uh, shield and a compass. I don't know, man. Alright. I'm assuming we only get to pick one of these. Attack up. Sack up. <laughs> Sack drop rate up. <laughs> Enemies can drop treasures too. Okay. Plus 1%. Experience up. I mean, that seems kind of like an interesting catch-all. Probably a good call to go for right now since we don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, that lets us kind of push, push our uh, decision down the road a little bit. Got gold up by 25%. Let's go with the experience. Now we also have to pick a penalty. Okay, unlucky. Uh, generally unlucky by default. Affects the game in many subtle ways. Uh-oh. You suffer from a minor plague and will suffer a defense penalty until you are cured. Less HP than usual when your HP reaches zero, you die, okay? Or child support. You owe $25 worth in, in child support. You are a rabbit after all. I mean, you know, you are a rabbit. That is fair. Start off with no items. Uh, man, that is tough. Let's, I guess I'll take a minor plague. Uh, intended experience, short, one floor shorter, minus the final wizard tower. All these areas are longer than usual. Watch your food reserves. I mean, let's go with the intended experience for now. Temple ruins, desolate jungle ruins, surrounded by marshes and heavy downpours. Oh my. All right. New press H for help. Let's do it. Holy crap, as the mysterious stranger, your job is to take the most boring of books back to the wizard's tower and destroy it along the way you can choose to use and use it to take a nap and recover stamina or don't. It doesn't matter to me. Pressing space bar when you want to interact with something will bring up a menu with any possible actions you can take, if there currently are any. Opening a chest, closing a door, drinking from a well, and much more. Run into enemies, enemies to enter mortal combat with each other. Uh, your possible actions are determined by the equipped items in your hands. You will also gain special combat skills upon reaching level 3 and 6. Alright. I mean, let's, um, let's trial by fire this for a second, and then we will, uh, we can always just pull the help menu back up, and we probably will. Okie dokie. Here we are. Yep, boy, it is. I'm, I was kind of hoping that we could do something with that tree there. Okay, let's fight some swamp flies. Okay, so this takes one stamina. We have 15 stamina. Scream, instill fear. We can reduce their attack by 25%. We can defend. Plus three defense, block up by 2% for one turn. Okay, what is this? So basic attack or aim the slice. Increase the chance to hit. But it will do like a little bit less damage, it, it seems to be the case. I mean, sure. All right, well, we killed him in one hit. I'll, t I'll take it. I opened up this. Uh, what the hell do we got? 
There's the war in peace. You're tasked to destroy it. Read to nap in, nap in combat. Oh, wait. Oh, in combat? Use this to see a floor's ladder. Wow. I mean, do we only have one? Oh, my God. We only have one. Gee, I wonder where the the uh, the exit is. I'm going to fight this rat even though we probably maybe shouldn't. Probably maybe we shouldn't. Is the warrior just, like, cracked or something? I have a sneaking suspicion things are gonna get tougher. What is that? Crate? We could touch the statue? Let's open the crate first. I guess there's nothing in it? I gained luck. Okay, good. Got a carrot. Got a dollar. I mean, I'll mess around in here. Four dollars. I'm assuming there can be a negative penalty, too. Looks like we need a key for that one there. Okay. What? Oh, we actually can go underwater? Is there any... It takes a stamina. It actually takes... Straight up takes a stamina. I'm not noticing how Stam comes back. I'm gonna eat that. Okay, I have noticed, uh... I've noticed how Stam comes back. All right, do we want to leave? I feel like we want to just do everything we can. I'm going to take that for later. Smoosh. Seems like a potentially good call. Is there really nothing we can do with this? I'm pressing space. Okay. Wait around. Okay. I don't want to I don't want to waste too much stam by going in the water. Okay, you I mean, I'm going to beat the hell out of these swamp flies as long as we have a free... Oh, okay, we missed. It lunges. You weren't kidding about the fletching lights. Why, why even include it? <laughs> that's my take. Why even include it? That's my, that's my hot take of the moment. All right. Barrel window. I didn't... It's just a window. Okay. Hello, Mr. Rat. I feel like if we... Do we get a, some kind of an advantage if we jump on him? I'm finding no reason not to just, like... How much health do you have, I guess? I mean, if we can, if we can kill you in one hit, as long as we don't miss, we're, we're great. I'm assuming some kind of passive of this uh, specific warrior here is, is what's causing us to really destroy here. Three health, six stam. We have strength of three. We have an attack of four. So if we use this and we're fine with using that stamp, that is an extra 12% chance to hit. Okay, so we actually do regain our stamina just by traversing around. We do not regain our health. That is a concern. Time bomb, get out fast. It looks like it is based off of your... Okay, yeah, that heals stamp. Uh, we really should have saved. Yeah, I, I was thinking that maybe a carrot would actually be HP. Wait, oh, wait, is there actually a food meter? Is that what that is? I'll fight a snake. He's got three health. Strikes first. My god. Get out of here. Look, a sack? Okay. Four bucks. Okay, that one, that one healed us. That one healed us just fine. I thought there was maybe something to do with that. We should not be, like, moving back too much unless we're going to gain some kind of a benefit. Uh-oh. 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 Snake goes first. Nope. Get wrecked then. Hoping I could maybe rummage. Got a green scale. Rummage through the belongings there. Hello, Mr. Bat. Oh, you... You... Oh! All right. Five bucks. Let me just, like... I don't know. Made a mode that made it so these flashing lights weren't there. Just my hot take. Wait. Oh! Red wire or black wire? Uh, 
wait. Uh. I defused a bomb for seven damage, so I got, got an achievement for that. It seems like it maybe wouldn't have been a normal, like, normally a good idea, but we gained some experience for it there, and we got fully healed right after, so... Honestly, sure. But I can clear the rock now for four... S Damn. Wait, did... Was that for four of my maximum stamp? No, okay. It's just a window. Alright, come on. Maybe there's gonna be something good over here then. There's a bat. I kind of want to break that rock just to have have a little fun with it. But yeah, I mean, I feel like we go for the aim the slice uh, on these units. Uh, sure. That are a little bit more... Uh, tiny and, you know, dodge, dodge focused. How do we get up there? Uh, probably the door. It's a gang of bats. It's a bat gang. It actually is a bat gang. Okay. Um. We had five damage. I figured it would make sense. Oh, we didn't. God, we're not missing health right now. Smash it. Uh-oh. Choose a skill. Ooh. Attack plus four. Critical plus two. Six stam. Or defense and magic defense up by three block, but up by three percent. Rage. Let's fight. How much health do you have? Since you have six health, so theoretically, if we basic attack and hit, oh, you have some kind of defense. Some kind of defense there. Uh-oh. Uh, do I have something that can help me with this? It can be used in mixing potions and crap. My dark cave's up. All right, that does not help us. Okay, the poison's gone. All right, I think we should probably get towards leaving here. But I am curious, now that we're not on a timer, what if there was something... There's nothing here? I find that hard to believe. I find that hard to believe that there was nothing there. Where was our exit? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm so glad that... I mean, well, we wouldn't have done any, like, full exploring if there, the bomb was still there, so I guess I'm not too worried about it. Time bomb again, I'm fast. <laughs> the sucker's closed. Uh, okay, fight me, bat. Definitely go for the uh, improved accuracy. 12% accuracy can go a long way, potentially. Where the bomb at? Wait, what's this? Shop. Get lost, you sicko. What? What? <laughs> Why are you so angry? Missed. The flashing, though. Alright. Really? Uh-oh. Gotta find that bomb. Gotta find that bomb. This is taking a, a turn. It does take a turn. How close are we to leveling up? We're pretty far from it. I don't know that it's a very logical idea to try and defuse it on this floor. Uh, there's the Bat Gang. Like some kind of ferret? I'm a little concerned about this guy. Doom Ferret. He's got 5 HP. I don't know if he's got any kind of defense. Nope. <laughs> All right. Sure. Probably shouldn't be wasting all this time. We don't know where the exit is yet. The bomb is going to go off. Is it Tonberry? Zomberry. Zombie speak is... Mm. 
What? Okay. So did I get... Wait, did I take poison damage as a result? Oh god, where's our exit? And wait, wait, did I... I better not have walked past it. This shouldn't take any time at all. Wait, did I become a zombie or something? Why did he take plague damage? Ooh, I have a 7% chance to cause plague damage on strike. Death in 74 turns. Yeah, you don't say. I probably should not have used up my, uh, my compass. Oh, God. I already looked down here, didn't I? I'm dead. I don't think I looked over in, like, the bottom right, if that's a thing. Okay. Dang. Nope, that's not a thing. I'm dead. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Oh, killed by explosion. Need a ticket to Valhalla or some such. Uh, let's go to the menu and try out a different character. Here. Kind of want to go with convert unwanted items into experience. Sure. Funny stick. Uh, staff pointy hat. Physical attack power. I... I don't know if that matters. Pay child support. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. In we go back to the temple ruins. Let's see here. So, let's check our help here. Leveling. If you have enough experience, you will gain more HP stamp stats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. Your hit streak meter is represented by the light blue bar on the right-hand corner. Hitting enemies with melee weapons and skills will fill it up. A full hit streak bar will flash and glow and award a plus 50% XP bonus until you miss or rest. Ooh. When dark, you can opt to listen near a door to see if monsters are on the other side. Monsters cannot open doors. Come across places you can go inside and visit. Shop, sell items. I mean, I wasn't let inside. But sure. Magic statues. We figured that out. Witch cauldrons. I think we can put in some kind of resources. And fill up. Yeah, we can fill up an empty bottle. Free magic power. Free is good. Chemistry set. Will you have the necessary ingredients? Sure. Bosses. Upon reaching the final floor of an area, you might discover a dangerous boss monster. Flashing red outline, of course, it's flashing red. Risk first reward, baby. Boss is very tough. Carry a key to a special treasure vault. But can also be uh, ignored entirely, I suppose. Uh, is what I would gather from... Don't eat flowers. Kind of want it. Is that bad? rest. I don't know what that would really do for me right now, though. I would imagine it would, at the very least, refill my stam. I ate the flowers. Should I have not? The sign did say that. I wonder... Is there anything that we could, uh, gain to chop down trees? I bet you there is. Okay, so you still got one health. What do we got? We have basic attack. Attack plus times two. 75% as much damage. Nap. Nap. Oh, it's a nap. A hun minus 100% evade for a turn. What? Attack damage. 50% stam. What? So I do 50% of their stamina as damage or 50% of my stamina as damage? Let's find out. Nope, don't know. I feel like a multi-strike for, for the bat makes more sense than anything else. Yeah. Two two shots at it seems like the way to go. Is 
75% damage should still be 3 damage. We don't have to stam, though. That makes sense. This does restore 3 stam. We maybe should have, uh... And by maybe, I mean we definitely should have waited a little bit. Healed up some stamina. Eat that bad boy. What does the bat wing do? Possibly delicious? Funny stick. Nigh worthless as a weapon, but grants some magic attack. Oh, baby! Let's go! Oh, I got I didn't get any kind of like item. Fair. It's just a window. Is it really just a window? Is anything just a window? There's our exit. Got another funny stick. I guess I'll turn one into experience, even if it's only two. Goodbye. I do have attack damage of four now, though. Take that. I think that's the HP heal. So there's our exit, obviously. here. <laughs> that, the, the value gain on that didn't really check out, did it? Eat. eat. Okay, just trying to get all kinds of moolah here, if I can. I don't know, let's just ditch. Let's go. As the great Mario once said, let's a go. Oop. Apologies. Take that with. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Bat. Fight you in the water. Oh, it actually. Wait. That's actually kind of cool. Uh. I like it. Yeah, it has, like, the wall. Okay, so as long as we don't miss an attack, we're on a chain. And we get more experience. I'm just trying to generate a little bit of energy. Moccasin. Theoretically, we gained uh, an experience boost of some sort there. Don't really want to fight you quite this second. Hello there. I wonder, does that count as, like, two shots at it? Does it count as one hit? Like, if we don't miss? You know what I'm saying? Enemy strikes first. Ooh, I don't like that. Bye. We also have 84, or 86. <laughs> just, I just literally just read the wrong number. 86 uh, carrots. Is that like our... I, I'm pretty sure that's going to be like our foodometer. It seems like it's... Yeah, it's going up whenever we eat flowers. This feels like a, an unwise choice, but I'm going to do it. Touch this. What could go wrong? Cold resistance. Okay. I don't know if that's going to be relevant for us or not. Mine. I'll fight Mr. Oh! Okay, thank God that hit. We're still on our uh, our Wombo climb here. Don't mind if I do. I kind of want to mine that. It's going to take five, though. There's no reason why we need to rush, though. As far as I'm aware. Oh! <gasps> We missed our first hit, finally. It's a bat posse. I'm gonna go up here. Oh, we have to have a pickaxe, okay. Well, fair enough. Jerk. Nerd. Okay. 60% of your magic defense to your defense. Seems good. 
Five stam to do a magic blast. Slash damages hit percentage. What? What do you mean? Um. We'll find out. I want to do a magic move. Thirteen damage. All right. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like it. I like it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Da, 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 do, do, do. do we know where our exit is on this one or not? I couldn't tell if I. I can't remember if I decided to just go against it. Alakazam! Maybe a little overkill. Oh! Fair. Fair, 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 fair. We'd have to hit with Volt so there'd be no point. It's basically like we got... Got it. Oh. Nice. I'm gonna check... What, what's this, uh... What's this fire... Uh, fire prone gear? Is that... Your cold resist faded. Okay. Is that what that blazing tree up there is all about? Potentially? Smash. Could be, could be, could be. remember if we were missing health. I know we got hit, so yeah. Okay. Some snakes guarding uh, a little healing thing. I guess we might as well go fight these snakes. Three? Okay. Double up makes a little bit more sense when they have three health. Three bucks. I really want to, like, go to a shop. I want to buy something. I need to find a dang exit. No reason to clear that. Where is anything of value? Oh, God. We started taking damage. Okay. I'm looking for, like, any kind of monster. Or anything. We've, we've like, basically cleared this place out, but we haven't technically fully... Like, we keep on going in circles now. We can definitely clear it up here. Yeah. Where is this exit? It's not over there. What the hell? Am I out of my mind? I think I... It's in the middle. It's, like, perfectly in the middle. God! The, the ground is dangerous. I mean, gee, I wonder uh, what it could possibly be. Okay. I'll fight a rat first. Giant rat first. Uh, 2 HP goes first. Bye. We got a campfire set. All the fixes to make your very own campfire. Splinter to damage. For real. We can multi-strike the snake as long as it doesn't attack first, and it shouldn't, because we got the jump on it. Stam. Any reason to care about this? Maybe not. Okay. There's the exit. Do we want to just like go? Yeah. <laughs> screw, screw it. Why not? Oh, a lot of stuff going on here. I like that. Okay, there's a slime. Fine. 
I'll drop five stam on you. Oh, he did not care. Did it, did it miss? We need to hit with... Wait a minute. What? This slime! We did like one damage with our smack. What the heck? What the heck, man? Uh... Sure. Club. Shovel. Holy Cross. The club, the shovel, and the Holy Cross. Let's just get unlucky. Sure. Sure. Man! Tut tut looks like a rain. I mean, that might be unlucky. Let's just get into battle, see what we've got. Basic attack. Damage. Damage is five defense. If you saw stats by two. I don't know. All right, hello, Bat Gang. If we can't kill anyways, we might as well do this before. It should hopefully help with our hit percent. It did not. Thank God. I don't know what was gonna, <laughs> ah, what was gonna happen if we didn't get that there. Uh, we got a problem. TV commercials explain. Uh oh. Uh oh. How much does the unluckiness actually impact us? It's hey, oh my god. Does it really only impact us a little bit? This run is feeling trash. How okay. When you say impacts a little bit. I feel like my little bit might be different than your little bit. Dear God, that went very south very quickly. Uh, you know, let's do a hot immediate retry there. Our, our, our versions of unlucky feel like they might be a little different. I don't know if we should... Poisonous reeds. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. We would kill on this. Okay. Worth it. Ba -ba -da -do. Gotta be careful in case there's more poisonous reeds. Very uh, water-centric generation here. We kind of have to just go between these here. Uh, raise his damage to undead. <laughs> uh, all right. Standard field rations for rabbits just like you. You for, okay, so the shovel, the shovel is how we can, oops. How we can mess with the gravestones. Oops, can't dang it. Just kind of like walking back and forth here. Just wait a little bit. Eat it. Eat it. Is there anything we can do with the bones? No? I bet you there's something somewhere that lets us mess with the bones. I feel like we shouldn't leave yet, but... Alas, let's just do it. Let's get stupid with it. Here, bat. Oh, there's a cauldron. The first character definitely seemed uh, quite easy to use. Though, the, the wizard having the the double strike seemed like a good call, too. No empty bottle. You're correct. You got me there. Hello, Mr. Bat. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Bat. Wooden armor? Wait a minute. 
super hard armor made from oak trees destroyed by fire. I mean, that seems pretty useful. Four, de four defense to uh, HP? Like... Okay, so yeah, 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 it did increase our HP. It's just we can't tell as much. If we can, uh, if we could get a level up, Ooh, look at this little bridge. That would be fantastic. I feel like we actually have a bat. Uh, we have a bat to time against these guys. Oh, it's actually straight up. It's a melee weapon, too. Defile corpse. Heavens no. Do it. Do it. Is it because... What? What? This character... I guess this character just won't use that? Maybe if we had the shovel on somebody else... So I guess we kind of just, we just picked a bad item. All right, fine. Bat gang. Yeah, we don't do enough damage. So let's increase our stats. Hopefully it increases our hit chance too. I took, I mean, I don't mind that. I don't mind that one bit, one bit. Beautiful. Snake Fang. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. All right. I mean, you gotta try. You gotta try. Good thing. I, I mean, we could have uh, we could have just as easily. I, I was kind of expecting us to poison ourselves for some reason. With the game's irreverency. Okay. All right. And it's gone. But hey, again, you gotta try it sometime somehow. I should probably fight the bats, right? I should probably fight the bats. We're almost we, we're almost leveled up here. We don't do enough damage to kill in one hit, so let's do a little bit of a... <laughs> I did not notice. Oh, no. No! Now we're going to be surrounded, and we only have five stam. At least we got the, the level up. <laughs> Look at this shot. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, God, fine. Uh, treading water. Wait, what? Hmm. Alright, I feel like we should just go for the snacks. One damage? I mean, the armor seems to be helping quite a bit here. We, okay, we could just leave. Do we want to kill the bats? There's a good chance we take one damage from each of them. Not a good chance. But like, there, there's a real chance we do. Just look at... Yeah, but the experience we gain isn't very high either. But we are starting to work up that combo meter. Yeah, let's just... Let's ditch it. Let's climb out the window. Okay, six... Six damage... We, we do more damage to undead. I, let's try this out. Oh, man. So we damage their stam. No, we... we well, I don't get this move right now. Damage is five defense. Do we... As it... Like, we reduce their defense by five, I guess is what it is. So it's, it's really no help for us in any fight we've been in yet. Maybe if they took more than, like, one hit or two hits or... Hell, like, I don't even know if it's worth it for three. Refreshing, of course. Not good. 
Don't poison me. I mean, you know, at least we are a, uh, a, a tanky son of a gun and a dodgy boy. But we did reset our combo as well here. I do think it's kind of nice how each floor seems to pretty reliably... I think we can... Can we kill... No, we still have four attack. Eh. Pretty reliably um, set itself up so that we um, kind of have like a theme to it, sort of. Like, the last one was very water-focused. Should we hit twice? No. Same, same deal. If he's got four, more than four HP, we go for this, because we also get the defense, you know? So, if we have the uh, the stamina to go for it, that, that is the way to go. Okay. I also like how we picked the shovel and then picked a character... <laughs> Picked a character that just can't even use it or doesn't want to. Like, no, no. No, no. Doom Ferret eyes your stuff? He you stole my potion. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, screw you. Did I get it back? Fire resist. Fire attack chance. Seven stam. Oh, 15 stam to recover HP. That is. Spicy. Fire resist, fire attack, chain, chance. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I it, it, see, I mean, I'm curious. I'm curious by that. What do you mean fire attack chance? It, this is a very, like... This is very traditional roguelike in the sense that a lot of this is sort of left up to some kind of interpretation. But it's almost, like, more frustrating to have half of an explanation. Okay, fire resist and a fire... Is it 12% chance to do a fire attack? So, like, we... Okay. So, it, it's exactly what it sounds like. It just... It, I was like, it, it can't be that. That seems too bad. So, it seems like we really should only use it if there is a fire enemy attacking us. And we want to get that fire resist. I would consider that to be a... Um, I think we made a bad choice. <laughs> I think we made a bad choice on what, which one we picked between the two there. But, you know, it's, uh, it's fine. I think we pretty uh, pretty right cleaned out this floor as much as I really care to at the moment. So let's just ditch. I want to see the boss or uh, or something. Avoid slime. Smash. 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 Oh. Oh come on. I mean, if we're going to be doing the correct amount of damage here. We have 69 carrots. Nice. 70 carrots. Uh, less nice. Uh, go big, go home. Okay, spring out of the way. I mean, all right, there we go. Look, a sack. Two bucks. I really also want to get, like, a shop going on, and I want to actually be allowed inside. That's sick. Well, it did not go so bad last time. And we have the stand for this again. Two damage, though. That adds up over time, you know? Oh, no. Wait. Well, if I would have known that was going to be so poor... Thank God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I guess I would have bashed uh, turn one instead, probably. Maybe? This is a little bit spicy, but we're gonna go for it. One damage is not so bad, but then I'm gonna fight him. Okay. I forgot what modifier... Wait, did we go for child's... Baby belt? We should do... 
we should do really well against you, shouldn't we? Bonk. Got a staff. Unsurprisingly, everybody can use this stick to hit things with. I want to know... I want to know what the move is that we learned. Is it just... I'm trying to look at the difference. We actually gain... Damage. One damage and a little bit of block with it. Oh, it does say on there. It does say it. Okay. It just didn't say. You have to actually find out in the in the legit inventory. And we get the double up. This better hit. Okay, thank God. We get double up, and double up is actually really nice. I really did enjoy that. Uh, I think double up is better than crush, so I'm with it. Oops. Well, we missed anyways. We actually don't want to go for the double hit because, I don't know, 75%? Does that take us down below the kill threshold? The multi-strike is really good for these uh, these ones that are a little bit more slippery. Oh, finally! Hey, it's the red hoodie. Knight's tier. How much money? We got 97 bucks. Brass helmet, two physical defense, minus two magical. Magic book? 20 magic... 20% magic damage? I don't know, man. Seems unwise, but I'm gonna do it. I just wanted to wear a helmet. I look like a fish man. Oh, you! Get wrecked! <laughs> See, that's, that's why you go with the two hits, baby. We now auto-kill bats, rats, and snakes. Not moccasins. But we might as well. They, Should I fight a... Oh, I have regrets. Oh! Well, boy, howdy. I wish I knew the crocodile was going to be that big of a power spike. I should have guessed that it was going to be somewhat a power spike, but come on, man. It's not happening. It's literally just, it's not, it's impossible. It's actually impossible. Well, I had no way of knowing, but hey, you know, such is the roguelike way. You learn to avoid the crocodile next time, and that's kind of part of it, and some people prefer that. And hey. Maybe that's you. Maybe it's me. I don't even know. I don't know. I, you know, it was, it's a nice, it's a nice little game here. I, I enjoyed my time with it. It's, it's fun to see a traditional, uh, a traditional roguelike in 2021. So I always want to, uh, go out of my way to do a little bit of support on that. Uh, the game is currently, if you are watching this video roughly around the time it comes out, it's actually on sale 20% off. It is normally $9.99 down to $7.99. I can't speak to how much uh, more there is to the game as far as like how many more like areas and everything. We could uh, we could take a, a quick gander. But I will say that the original Equin is very, very well reviewed. So it is worth knowing that, you know, it's worth knowing that people did... Uh, truly enjoy the, the first one and all of the reviews so far on this one are quite high as well or uh, quite high they are positive uh, as well so you know it, it is quite neat it looks like there's a swampy temple era desert undead crypt frozen prison magical forest and the wizard tower so it looks like uh, yeah you, you could see how many floors there were on each uh, or on that one there so you can probably extrapolate that out if you want to figure out what, what like how many areas of combat like there really are in the game seems like there's quite a decent amount uh it's got a, it's got a good sense of humor to it being very irreverent uh, it feels like it goes hand in hand with a roguelike to me personally, especially nowadays. If you're if you're making one in 2021, 
I feel like that kind of humor typically goes hand in hand with the the, the gameplay. I don't know why. It just <laughs> maybe that's just because so many people try and do it is why it feels that way. But it was a fun little game. Uh, will I play more of it? Uh, I I might. I might on my in my off time. It seems like a nice thing, especially it, with maybe the short mode. Uh, just bumping it on, playing a little bit. It's relatively simplistic. Uh, will I look at my screen every ever or look away from my screen every time I hit an enemy? Absolutely, I will. I really feel like to go through the effort of putting in like a flashing lights warning. If you've already gone in and done that, I feel like you might as well put in a toggle to just turn off the flashing lights and the settings. Am I crazy? I don't know. But alas, that is that, though. There's a link at the top of the description if you want to pick it up for yourself. It was a fun little time here. I, I enjoyed it. Uh, if you're looking for traditional roguelikes that came out recently, uh, it is still in early access, but Hot Vouch for Dungeons of Voidria has a little bit a little bit different combat, not super traditional. Uh, well, actually, it's like it's about as traditional as as this because this has diff slightly different combat as well. It, it takes you; it does the same thing where it takes you into an actual uh, like RPG battle. Uh, so it, I guess it does the same thing. It's just that that is a little bit more of an involved combat system. So if you're if you're comfortable with it being a roguelike, then yeah, I don't know, you know, whatever. But yeah. This was fun. I'll link it in the top of the description if you want to pick it up for yourself. There is a free demo you can check out if you are interested, but you're not sure how much you're going to like it. I'm actually playing... No, I'm not playing the demo. I picked up the real game. Just kidding. Uh, there's a free demo uh, out right now that seems pretty big, though. But, yeah. Link in the top of the description. My name is Retromation. I cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelites and roguelikes. If that is your jam, this is a channel you're going to want to be subscribed to. Otherwise, you're going to miss all kinds of great stuff. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!